The Applied Behavior Analysis Technician's Exam, the Qualified Autism Service Practitioner Supervisor Credential, and the Qualified Behavior Analyst Credential all have their own scores for passing. This video is going to break down each passing score for each exam. ABAT candidates have two hours to complete their exam. However, if a person requires accommodations for more time, that can be arranged. Please visit the QABA website for details. The ABAT examination consists of 125 questions. 100 of the questions are live and scored, while 25 of the questions, pretest questions, are not scored. The unscored questions will not be marked, so it is very important to answer all 125 questions to the best of your ability. The cut score or pass point for the ABAT examination is 72%. QASPS candidates have three hours to complete their exam. Again, if more time is needed, accommodations can be made for the test taker. The QASPS examination consists of 125 questions. 100 questions are live and scored, while 25 of the questions, pretest questions, are not scored. The unscored questions will not be marked so it is very important to answer all 125 questions to the best of your ability. Again, the cut score or pass point for the QASPS examination is 72%. Like the QASPS credential exam, QBA candidates are given three hours to complete the exam. If more time is needed for an accommodation, then that can be arranged. But you are going to want to visit the QABA website for details. The examination consists of 125 questions. 100 questions are live and scored, while 25 of the questions, pretest questions, are not scored. The unscored questions will not be marked, so it is very important to answer all 125 questions to the best of your ability. The passing score is 72%. We hope you found this video breaking down the scores on the ABAT, QASPS, and QBA exams to be helpful. Should you need any more assistance, please visit the QABA website with any questions.